Well, Bob, we know a little bit more after that 11 o'clock advisory came right. out. Right, a little bit more. Warnings up for Florida. That mm -hmm. means a possibility of hurricane force winds along the east coast, not for our right. coast. We're not going to see hurricane force winds here. Tropical storm force, not out of the question. It's 30% now for Sarasota and Manatee counties. A little bit more so if you move into our inland counties like Highlands and also into Hardy and DeSoto County. So that's what we have right now. The strongest winds that we will see here uh, will be around Thursday night, but more so on Friday now. Things have really slowed down with this system. System. Here's a look at uh, time lapse from our tower cam looking off into the Gulf. One thing you'll notice is those clouds moving off toward the west, and that's what we're in for east to northeasterly wind flow over the upcoming days as anticipated. And that means a good news as far as the red tide goes, the effects, the harmful effects will be blown offshore basically. And as uh, the weather headlines read, the better chances for tropical storm force winds inland counties, uh, less and near Manatee and Sarasota counties at the present track. Right now, that's just offshore of the east coast. If it shifts a little bit to the left, even say 50, 60 miles, this could change and we could get a little stronger winds here in Sarasota Manatee counties, but right now it's looking pretty good. Don't anticipate any hurricane force winds here at the present track, even if it is to shift off to the left. Uh, DeSoto and Hardy counties will get the brunt as well as Highlands. Uh, they could see some gusts as high as 60 miles an hour. If we see any tropical storm force winds at all here, it'll be on the low end. It looks like anywhere from 40 to 50 miles an hour. So 40 to 50 miles an hour uh, along the coast to uh, say uh, for, uh, for example, Braden in Sarasota, Manatee County, uh, western portion of Manatee County, in Sarasota County. East winds throughout the day on Friday, beginning Thursday night and Friday, 20 to 25 miles an hour, it looks like. Seas up to 6 to 10 feet offshore, and those will be blowing off into the Gulf because of that strong easterly wind. So we won't have a lot of onshore uh, flow and wave action as a result of that easterly wind flow. So far, we are starting to see that east wind already in place tonight. And as far as the warnings go, this is the second storm to prompt warnings for the Sunshine State. And you can see the area in red now uh, from Sebastian Inlet all the way to Golden Beach. Uh, that is a hurricane warning and then uh, areas to the north of that a hurricane watch which have been extended a little bit further south and the hurricane center says it's a little difficult uh, to really pinpoint down exactly what kind of conditions can be felt here along the east coast because a shift to the left would mean uh, maybe even category three or four winds a shift to the right would mean just tropical storm force winds. It was just shifting to the right maybe 40, 50 miles because the core of the hurricane, as far as the hurricane force winds of 130 to 40 miles an hour, is only about 40 miles off from the center. So any kind of movement to the right would be a problem, or I should say to the left. Uh, we have some uh, flood warnings, obviously, the Mayaka River, the Horse Creek, as well as the... Uh, Mayaka River and um, uh, the uh, Mayaka State Park, they're, they're causing some flooding problems there. Dew point 73, temperature 79, east and northeast winds at 7, the pressure 29.89 inches. The high today, it was a high one despite the clouds this afternoon, 93 degrees. And for the uh, rainfall today, just six hundredths of an inch. That's it. As far as rainfall goes with the system, we could see up to an inch and a half to two inches uh, for our area in Sarasota Manatee counties, maybe a little bit more two to four uh, inland areas as a result of the feeder bands coming through the Gulf temperature now at 86 degrees. Well, there's been so much confusion of the models because of several different factors. We have this trough, very thin trough now, which is starting to pull away, and a little piece of that is moving to the south. The system that's eventually going to turn this off into the Atlantic is still way back by the Pacific Northwest and Southwest Canada. So it's a long way off, and that means this is going to be a slow mover. It's going to be right over some very warm water temperatures, 90 degrees water temperatures here. On top of that, favorable conditions to develop. And this is a little bit of an outlier, too. This is a Nicole, a tropical storm, which is going to be just kind of dancing around just to the east of the storm. And eventually this high pressure ridge is expected to build in uh, to the north of it and cause this system, Matthew, to be making a little bit more of a west to northwesterly bend uh, throughout the day tomorrow. So we'll have to watch it closely. Right now, winds are at 130, gusts up to 160. It has emerged now off the eastern tip of Cuba, so it is now in the southwest Atlantic where water temperatures are extremely warm. The pressure has come up to 950 millibars, but really it hasn't lowered much at all. 950 is still a very significant storm, a Category 4 hurricane. It will remain possibly higher as it makes its way off to the northwest. I mentioned the cone hasn't changed much. It may change tomorrow at the 5 a.m. advisory as more models start to come in. Uh, but for the time being, we are not in that cone of uncertainty as far as Manatee and Sarasota counties. It does clip a little bit of Hardy County as well as all of Highlands County eventually uh, taking off to the northeast. This is going to be a uh, could be one of the most devastating storms if it hangs right along the coastline like it's projected to do there because then everyone could feel hurricane force winds or even possibly category three 
or four winds as it makes its way off to the northeast. If it's a little bit further off to the east, and we hope it is, uh, then it should not be as bad. So we'll get to the marine forecast real quickly for Wednesday. Northeast winds 5 to 10 knots. Seas will be 1 to 2 feet with a light chop out there. And the water temperature at 86 degrees will have uh, moderate as far as the UV index goes. And the temperature it looks like right around 86 for a high. Low tide upcoming at 912. And uh, high tide, I should say, at 223 in the morning. The forecast tonight, a few evening showers are still possible. I should say overnight showers. And then mainly afternoon storms tomorrow, high 89. The extended forecast does call for windy weather beginning on Thursday, mainly afternoon, continuing through Friday and even into Saturday morning. But much cooler and drier, we do believe, by the weekend.